Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. I am the big boss behind the scenes in Marvel. Chapter 31 The reason why Tang Jinyan didn't destroy the locator was not to greet her, but to worry that this woman would fall into the hands of the CIA and then confess the locator and USB flash drive. That would be no fun. Tang Jinyan, an honest businessman, doesn't want to confront an intelligence agency like the CIA. You took the content on the USB flash drive. Tang Jinyan ate the cake in one bite, his eyes swept across Sauter as if charged. In this gaze, Sauter felt as if he was not wearing clothes. Who on earth are you? Sauter didn't answer Tang Jinyan's question, and the two of them had the same meaning. It's useless, kill it. Tang Jinyan put down the knife and fork, took the napkin handed by Wesker, and wiped his hands. Base. Bai Ghost threw the knife in his hand silently, and the sharp katana shone cold in the light. Seeing Tang Jinyan with a calm complexion and the white ghost walking towards her step by step, Sauter swallowed. She could see that the Asian man in front of her was not joking at all. It was taken by my informant in the Middle East, but the other person is dead. Although she has experienced harsh and cruel agent training, no one wants to die, and so does Shot. At this moment, she is just an ordinary woman who wants to live. Tang Jinyan waved his hand, and White Ghost stopped his footsteps and waved the knife to retract the sheath. What is your mission this time? Who is the CIA who knows the contents of this USB flash drive? This time I received an order from the deputy director to investigate an international counterfeit banknote case in the Middle East. Because it involves an extremist organization in the Middle East, Ten Rings, I used an informant. Unexpectedly, he accidentally filmed the arms deal between Stark Industries and Ten Rings. Sauter put down the gun in his hand, from lying down to sitting with knees, revealing a vigorous and white waist, and even a trace of vest line can be seen. However, all the people present, except Boss Tang, were ruthless people with no distractions. They didn't mean to relax their vigilance at all, and even their eyes didn't change at all. This made shot who was paying attention from the corner of his eye, felt disappointed. In the agent's survival skills, the female body is also one of the capital. The agent looked at the few people whose expressions had not changed, and couldn't help falling into deep self-doubt. I sent a copy of this information to Ted. He is the head of the CIA field agent, my immediate supervisor. As for the others, I don't know. After Sauter finished speaking, he looked at Tang Jinyan a little nervously. Her life and death were between the man's thoughts. She would never have thought that the intelligence container she was looking for at random turned out to be the leader of a large organization. Tang Jinyan fiddled with his knife and fork. He was thinking about the pros and cons of this incident. With a USB flash drive in hand, he can do a lot. The most common thing is to make the video public and take the opportunity to short the stock of Stark Industries. Based on the size of the historical Stark industry, if it succeeds, it will start with at least several hundred million. But this is the last resort, it belongs to the killing of chickens and eggs. Obadia, Tang Jinyan said this name in his heart. This later Iron Overlord is still the closest person to Stark in Tony's history, dealing with politics and business circles, and is a guest of the Ministry of National Defense. It's not impossible for him to start. Take her down, Tang Jinyan was planning in his heart, looking at Sauter, his eyes swept. She is a master of escape. She is strictly guarded. If she finds any signs of escape, she will kill her. White Ghost nodded and signaled to understand. I brought things back. Not long after Bai Ghost took Sauter down, a black snake eye returned to the villa, Tang Jinyan asked. Snake eye nodded, and took out two glass injections, which contained red blood samples. Send these blood samples to Dr. Z and the others, and work out the genetically modified part of Peter Parker's blood as soon as possible. That's right, the blood sample in Snake's eye's hand is from little Spider-Man Peter Parker, but he hasn't kissed the fateful spider yet at the moment. Snake's eye took advantage of Peter Parker's deep sleep and easily got it done. His blood sample. As for why Tang Jinyan wanted Peter Parker's blood sample, it was naturally because of the Osborne group. At that time, Richard Parker and Mary Parker were a pair of outstanding biologists. Later, Norman Osborn funded them and contributed money to research genetic modification technology. Norman Osborn's goal is naturally to relieve the family inherited disease. 
Richard Parker and Mary Parker did live up to Norman Osborne's expectations in the fields of genetics and biological sciences, and soon produced results. Unexpectedly, Richard Parker and Mary Parker said that they did not want their experimental results to be used by bad guys for war, and they disappeared with their research success. This kind of genetic technology was indeed not used by the so-called bad guys in the later period, but Peter Parker mutated into Spider-Man directly after being bitten by the mutant spider. If his genes were not passive, Tang Jinyan would not believe that he would kill him. The rich rely on technology, the poor rely on mutation, and there is no capital. It is true that mutations without side effects come casually. After Snake Eye left, Tang Jinyan went directly to the bedroom after washing. He has plans for tomorrow. Golden Building. The Mercedes Benz stopped at the door of the building, and naturally a doorman came forward to pull the door for Tang Jinyan. Wesker handed the car key to the doorman and followed Tang Jinyan. That's right, the person Tang Jinyan came to meet was Jin Bin. As the director of the Hongmin Wyman, it is not too much to come to New York to visit the local snake. Strictly speaking, Hongmin and Jin did not have conflicts of interest. Affected by their predecessor, Tiantawei, Hongmin did not engage in the flower business, and many partial businesses also had options. Strictly speaking, there is very little business intersection with Kim. Hong Men and Jin Bin have always maintained the attitude of not violating the river. However, in recent years, the two families have indeed had some scams. This is why Satu Lei heard that Tang Jinyan came to New York and specifically asked Tang Jinyan to meet the Golden Union. The reason for the conflict between the two is not because of the business, but because of another organization the Shuheihui. The grievances between Hong Sect and Shuheihui have been around for a long time and Shuheihui has been active in the Federation recently, and Hongmin naturally suppressed it. Jin did not go very close to Shuheihui, and the two companies have a lot of business dealings in flour. After going back and forth, between the Hongmin and the Jin Union forces, it is inevitable to wipe the guns and misfire. Both forces are underground organizations of an international nature. If they really want to get together, neither side can bear the consequences. This is also the purpose of Tang Jinyan's visit this time. In Jin Bin's office, it was the first time that Tang Jinyan met Jin and himself, a strong white man as strong as a Roshan. Jin he was smoking a cigar, a pair of eyes staring at Tang Jinyan in the smoke. The underworld emperor didn't seem to know that what he did opposite was the man behind the scenes who caused him to lose one billion. However, facing the director of Hongmen, Jin did not show his courage as the emperor of the underworld. I have no business dealings with your Hongmen, but I account for 30% of the flower business of Shuheihui in New York. Why should I help you? Tang Jinyan smiled. Mr. Wilson misunderstood. Our Hongmen meant that we didn't want to have a dispute with Mr. Wilson. You and Shuheihui's business should do the same, but don't interfere with the grievances of us and Shuheihui. Well, Tang Jinyan narrowed his eyes. To be honest, this grievance is so great that ordinary people can't afford it. Jin held hands together, then squeezed the cigar in his hand into a ball, staring fiercely at Tang Jinyan. Pu Fan file size's hand touched the walking stick aside, no one has ever dared to talk to him like this. The corner of Tang Jinyan's mouth evokes, I hope Mr. Wilson will think about it, and I won't bother. Jin Bin's eyes were fierce, as if he was about to smash Tang Jinyan's head in the next moment, but he didn't act until Tang Jinyan took Wesker out. What Tang Jinyan didn't know was that there was an office next door where he and Jinyan were talking. An identical Kim was watching what happened in the office through the monitor. It's a young man, bold, Mr. Wilson is not going to teach him a lesson. An old Asian lady with a kind smile on her face, sitting on the sofa beside her, looked harmless. Jin he turned his head, his face full of flesh and blood was filled with a smile. Although I don't like this arrogant boy. But he is right in one thing, this is the battle between you and Hongmen. Some things are still yours. It's a good solution. Hearing Jin Bin's words, a haze flashed across the old lady's face, and disappeared in an instant. Mr. Wilson, let's talk about building a flower factory in Hell's Kitchen. A counterfeit. Tang Jinyan was sitting in the car, playing with the jade tortoise handle in his hand, a sneer evoked at the corner of his mouth. It seems that the loss of 700 million US dollars is not a small number for Jin En. He was so timid to see him as a Hongmin director who used a substitute. 
Although Jin He had never seen him, his physical fitness surpassed that of ordinary people. Tang Jinyan made a tentative statement, but unfortunately, the substitute is the substitute. Tang Jinyan squinted, playing with Jade Turtle in his hand. Boom! With a gunshot, Tang Jinyan opened his eyes suddenly, and several clear cracks appeared on the bulletproof glass of the Mercedes Benz. Eight or nine vehicles blocked from both sides, blocking the front and rear directions of the Mercedes Benz. Boss! Wesker turned his head and looked at Tang Jinyan without worrying about his strength. Ordinary gunmen came to kill as many as possible. The boss's skill is even better than him, he wants to know how the boss wants to deal with these people. Kill all. Tang Jinyan's eyes flashed with disgust as he listened to the dongying sound of roar drinking from the person in the car. Yes, boss. Wesker took out a black pistol from the side of the driver's seat, opened the door and walked down. Fire and kill him. The gunmen from the Shuheihui were a little confused for a while. They originally thought that the target would borrow this armored car to resist. This meant that they would die. Only the leader of the hands-on gunner looked at Wesker's calm expression, his heart was a little hairy, and he roared. Bang bang bang. Gunshots broke out, and a scene that shocked many hand-in-hand -hand gunmen appeared. Wesker walked peacefully in the rain of bullets, tilting his head, turning sideways, raising his legs, every step and every movement just right to dodge the bullet coming over. The movements are so graceful, like walking in the rain. Raise your hand and shoot, and someone must fall to the ground. Boom boom boom. Boss, it's solved. Wesker loaded the bullet, shattered the head of the gunman, and returned to the driver's seat. Let's go. Tang Jinyan closed his eyes and rested his mind, his tone indifferent. From beginning to end, there were gunshots from outside the car, and he didn't even lift his eyelids. Wesker kicked the accelerator, the modified Mercedes-Benz bulletproof car with high horsepower directly smashed the two cars blocking the road, and drove away amidst the sound of sirens. When the FBI arrived, only the corpses were all over the floor, a mess. Cha-cha Shuheihui what is happening in New York recently? Tang Jinyan was playing with Jade Turtle and ordered. Boss Tang wasn't someone who was beaten and silenced. Since he would dare to kill him with his hands, he would have to pay a price. Yes, boss. Tang Jinyan failed to kill Tang Jinyan with his hands together, leaving corpses all over the floor. While they were arguing with the New York police, a stronghold of Shuheihui in New York was directly bombed into the sky. According to eyewitnesses, dozens of gunmen in black suits got on and off from more than a dozen cars, each armed with assault rifles, and went directly into the death factory. He felt that he was on the battlefield, and when the eyewitnesses recalled, he still had lingering fears. The group of people in black not only had assault rifles, they even used grenades. There were gunmen in the factory, but they seemed to only have pistols and katana, and they were killed by the group after holding on to the group of gunmen for less than five minutes. Immediately there was a violent explosion, and the entire factory was directly bombed into the sky. It's these gangsters again. New York City Police Department, George Stacy looked at the witness's transcript and yelled angrily. This is the first few times this month. First, because the underground bank of Jin Bin was robbed, the whole of New York almost fell into riots. Now this kind of bad gun battle is happening again, even using grenades and high explosives. As the deputy chief of the New York Police Department, George Stacy felt tired. I don't know when it started, the law and order in New York was getting worse every day. No wonder the old partner wants to retire early. Shet, he retired. The police chief did not belong to him. George Stacy took a sip of the coffee his baby daughter bought, and calmed down. Sir, the registration information of the factory has been verified. It is a foreign trade company from Toyo, which belongs to Tanaka Company, Limited. An agent knocked on the door and came in with a document in his hand. George Stacy glanced at him. The agent shrugged. Behind this company is the Shuheihui, Dongying's notorious underworld organization. Furthermore, just the day before, the people of Shuheihui had a gun battle with people in the street, and more than 20 gunmen were killed. The detective took out a document, which was a photograph of the corpse everywhere. This is a premeditated act of revenge, the gang revenge. But which organization did it, we haven't found out yet. Stare at these dongying dwarfs. George Stacy knocked the coffee cup heavily on the table. For the federal police, the biggest headache is this large-scale organized international gang. 
Not only do they have a strict organizational structure, some have guns, and the most important thing is money. In the Commonwealth, if you have money, you have everything. The police here hasn't arrested anyone. Maybe the other party's lawyer is already standing in front of the police station. Without conclusive evidence, George Stacy knew that they had nothing to do with these gangsters. All that can be done is to keep an eye on them and disrupt their criminal activities. The hand-to-hand -hand meeting that caused headaches for the New York police at the moment was a gloomy and bleak scene. A villa courtyard is quite luxuriously decorated. Mrs. Gao was barefoot in clogs, reaching out her hand to tease a snow-white bird. On the lawn behind her, two donkeying people were kneeling and bowing down. How much did we lose this time? Mrs. Gao stroked the bird's feathers with her fingers, and asked softly. Madam, the batch of police agents that we shipped from the asterisk triangle are all in the factory, and they are all destroyed, and they are worth at least 10 million US dollars. The donkeying people who knelt on the ground shivered and answered honestly. More than that, our cooperation with Jin Bin is to establish a good situation when the factory is completed and can produce flour. Mrs. Gao sighed, her thumb and index finger pinched the bird's neck and exerted a slight force. Click. Too rubbish, you two dig your belly. Mrs. Gao threw the corpse of the bird on the lawn and stepped on the wooden clogs and walked into the villa. Hey. Two unquenchable howls of pain echoed in the villa. Come on, have a taste, the wagyu that came by air. Manhattan Riverview Villa. Tang Jinyan took a knife and fork to cut the beef, and grilled the half-cooked A4 Wagyu beef. The beef was cut open with a refreshing smell of meat. It has a very tender and fragrant taste when it bites into the mouth. Well, it tastes good, donging people are not very good, but there are still some unique features in raising cattle and engaging in art. In the villa restaurant, on the long table, Tang Jinyan is sitting at the top, and next to him is a cute and well-behaved little Asian girl. Opposite the long table is shot in pajamas. Guz allowed the use of knives and forks, and he didn't mean to be polite. With a piece of meat stuffed in his mouth, he did not forget to mumble. Is the art the uncle talked about, is it the kind of art I think? Uncle likes it too, hey, uncle, which star do you like, asterisk Kong, asterisk Maria. Tang Jinyan stuck the silver fork of beef in his mouth, coughed, and coughed with his fist covering his mouth. You don't learn well at a young age. Hey, uncle, Guz Yunbai gave Tang Jinyan a glance. You boys don't all like this, and you are not the same as those boys in our class. You are so rich, you don't need to buy any discs, you can find a real person. Those stars, it doesn't matter if you invite them to make a movie, do you want me to do it for you? Ah, this. Tang Jinyan raised his hand and patted Ju Zian on the head. Eat well. The servant stepped forward and poured the red wine in the decanter into three wine glasses. The red wine was swayed with a weird beauty in the crystal cup with Tang Jinyan's shaking. The cheapest price of Pertus red wine is more than 20,000 pounds per box, which is twice that of La Fight. With the bitter and fragrant red wine entrance, Tang Jinyan enjoys the happiness that money brings him. Your boss is dead, he died in an accidental car accident. After eating the steak, Tang Jinyan put down the wine glass, and the maid next to him brought the wash basin to clean his hands. Tang Jinyan washed his hands, took the napkin and wiped his hands, and turned his eyes to the agitated Evelyn Sauter. Sauter's hand clenched the knife and fork, and there was an unbelievable expression on her face. An intelligence director of the CIA died in an accidental car accident. She would not believe such a ridiculous thing. As a field agent, he has planned and carried out many assassinations, and Shot knows that it is not difficult to let a person die in an accident. But what this man did, offended the largest foreign intelligence agency in the Federation. Tomorrow your internal wanted order will be cancelled, and you will receive a reward. After all, you have destroyed a large-scale terrorist attack by terrorists in the Middle East. This is what you deserve. Tang Jinyan walked slowly behind Sauter, putting his hands on her shoulders. Sauter felt like an electric shock, feeling Tang Jinyan sniffing closer and closer, and the feeling of being surrounded by an anaconda python made her shudder. What do you want to do? Sauter tried to calm down and asked calmly. After tomorrow, you will be the head of the CIA field service, with a bright future. Congratulations. Tang Jinyan's hand. Sauter leaned back, his upper body leaned back, showing a perfect curve, 
his beautiful eyes fixed on Tang Jinyan's face. You're the one who wants to place you in the CIA. Tang Jinyan's hand, um, under this tension, seemed to be in a position that shouldn't be there, a little uncoordinated. You will be my person, right? Tang Jinyan took out his hand, pinched Evelyn Sauter's face and asked. I said yes, would you believe it, Evelyn Sauter sneered. Trust an agent. Tang Jinyan smiled, and in his backhand, he took out an injection from nowhere, and before Evelyn Sauter could not respond, it stuck into her neck. Do you know why your boss got in a car accident? Tang Jinyan pushed the silver nanoworm liquid into Evelyn Sauter's body little by little. It's not that he is not greedy enough, it's because he and you come from the same place. Tang Jinyan leaned into Sauter's ear, whispering softly, but let. Evelyn Sauter was about to suffocate. A very good person, a goose country agent can climb the high position of the CIA field agent director, with ability, but unfortunately, the bones are too hard. Tang Jinyan casually threw a piece of information in front of Evelyn Sauter. Evelyn Shot lowered her head, and the first page was a picture and file of his former boss. She never thought that this boss would come from the same place. The training base of Goose Country is gone, and there is the Goose Country agent who knew about it. Thank you Zian for this. Her execution ability is really good. Evelyn Sauter couldn't accept such a large amount of information, and was a little confused for a while. On the other hand, the well-behaved Ji Zian showed a sweet smile at her. Well, starting from tomorrow, you will be an innocent CIA field manager. Today is good news, and I will go back to work tomorrow. Then, this is a gift from me. Tang Jinyan took out a bronze mask and snapped it on the profile in front of Evelyn Sauter. This is the god of night traveler, also called the god of ear reporting in the ancient myths and legends of Zhang Kingdom. It is very suitable for you. On the big soft bed, Tang Jinyan lay alone, looking at the moonlight in the dark night through the skylight. Villain, behind the scenes, is he. Tang Jinyan didn't know that when he came to the Marvel world, he neither wanted to be a street policeman like Spider-Man, nor was he interested in destroying the world. His original intention of being a man for two lives has not changed, that is, he wants to be a rich man, simple and happy. Well, the video of the deputy director of the CIA accepting a bribe of 20 million US dollars cannot be connected to the internet. Let the Hornet save it later. Boss Tang, who is in entanglement, thinks of Tony Stark when he thinks of rich people. Compared with this man, his net worth is almost. Thinking of Tony Stark, Tang Jinyan suddenly remembered that the video that he bribed the deputy director of the CIA was still stored in the micro USB flash drive. This is not insurance, there are many super hackers and intelligent lives in the Marvel world. Think of JARVIS in Tony Stark's house, Ultron, Vision, and even the so-called High Tide organization that appeared later. Boss Tang immediately dispelled his grief and sadness. Begin planning to recruit an intelligent life of his own, the Red Queen in Resident Evil, or Skynet. Tang Jinyan was calculating the price-performance ratio, and the bedroom door was suddenly opened. In the moonlight, Evelyn Sauter. Served, this review. Tang Jinyan stood up, leaning against the head of the bed, enjoying the beautiful scenery in front of him. No words for a night. As for why the deputy director of an authority such as the CIA would bend for 20 million US dollars, it is naturally a big stick in one hand. Boss Tang used the video and Evelyn Sauter's confession to follow along, and naturally figured out the interest groups in this arms trade feast. The sun was shining on the dining table, and Tang Jinyan was sitting at the dining table alone while enjoying breakfast. Hearty Chinese breakfast, Shaolong Bao, pumpkin kanji, crab dumplings. The steamed dumplings are made of premium Jinhua ham and crab paste. The selection of pumpkin porridge is also one of a thousand, and even the millet used for making porridge is a few hundred dollars a caddy of premium golden rice. As for the crab meat in the crab dumplings, the crab legs of the king crab from Alaska and the Bering Strait are used. In terms of food, Tang Jinyan never treats herself badly. As for why he was the only one eating breakfast, the freshly baked CIA field director was tossed all night before leaving the villa before dawn. Boss, found him. After Tang Jinyan finished the last crab dumpling, Wesker walked in and said to Tang Jinyan. He agreed to trade with us, but the location is set at the Continental Hotel. At the Continental Hotel, Tang Jinyan was startled, and then smiled instantly. It's cautious enough, 
promise him. I'll let him know. Wesker came and went in a hurry. Continental Hotel, a unique and weird hotel dedicated to killers and mercenaries. The hotel adopts a membership system to entertain killers from all over the world. The membership fee is very high, but it is excellent value for money. As far as the hotel is concerned, the hotel guarantees the personal safety of the members. Fire and assassination are not allowed here. Behind the scenes of this chain of hotels in Europe and the United States is a large, semi-open killer organization called Gautai Table. It was originally a movie plot called, Who Killed My Dog, but I didn't expect it to integrate with Marvel Universe. Tang Jinyan walked out of the villa, bathed in the sun, and stretched. The lawn not far in front of the villa is a small golf course. Those who come here to play are the owners of nearby villas, either rich or expensive. The definitely membership fee is also not cheap. The annual membership fee of hundreds of thousands of dollars, ordinary people can't come even if they want to. Boss Tang doesn't have much interest in golf. But he made an appointment here, and the golf course is a good meeting place. Tang Jinyan swung his club and watched the white ball fly out far away and rolled into the hole. Hand the cue to the caddy girl aside. Good fight. With a bald head, a big beard, and a blue high order suit, he looks eagle eyed. If Sauter were here, he would definitely recognize the male protagonist in this little video. I heard Spindo say that you are interested in our business. Obadiah was holding a golf club in his hand, and his face looked a little ugly. He had only been to places like the Middle East once, and he didn't expect to be recorded in the video. He understands Tony Stark's character. Once this video is exposed, his dear nephew will not show him mercy. The so-called sense of justice in this playboy will surely kick him out of the board. He didn't want to be out, except for a little invention, what did the Stark father and son do for the company? It's not all he is busy before and after. Mr. Steeny misunderstood. I am not interested in your business. I just want to make friends with the vice president of Stark Industries. Obadiah Stani, the future Iron King, Iron Man Tony Stark is the first stepping stone on the road to fame. A typical person who does not have a princess life, but has a princess disease. The reason why Stark Industries ranks high on the Federal Defense Department's procurement list is partly because of personal connections, and partly because of Tony Stark's innovative ability in weapon technology. Tang Jinyan looked at Obadia who was invited to play, smiled, picked up a bottle of water, and unscrewed it. The poor Middle East needs weapon assistance. This is your business. I don't care but I am still somewhat interested in Stark Industries. I want to buy some shares in Stark Industries. I hope Mr. Steeny will match up. You want to be a shareholder of Stark, Obadia looked up and down Tang Jinyan. To be precise, I want to be a director of Stark Industries. Tang Jinyan drank the water and admired the short skirt of the caddy who had left with knowledge. It's difficult, Stark's board of directors will not increase the number of people at will. Obadiah shook his head. As a military industrial group that the Federal Ministry of Defense is key to cooperate with, Stark Industries' major shareholders, except for the Ministry of Defense, each have a lot of origins. The growing Stark industry is a golden egg for them, and no one will throw away their stocks at will. As far as I know, Mr. Steeny has 4% of Stark Industries in his hands. Are you interested in selling it? Tang Jinyan's words made Obadiah's face suddenly gloomy. Selling Stark's stock, what's a joke? In Obadiah's heart, the real owner of Stark is him. He can't wait to change the name of Stark Industries to Steeny Industries. How is it possible to sell the stock? Okay, just kidding with you. Tang Jinyan patted Obadiah on the shoulder. I don't mean anything else, I just want to make friends with Mr. Steeny. Sure enough, wanting to get Stark industrial equity is not so easy. Tang Jinyan sighed. If I remember correctly, most of Stark Industries shares are in the hands of Tony Stark, and some are in the hands of S.H.I.E.L.D. The rest are scattered minority shareholders. The best time to really start with Stark industrial stock is when Tony Stark announces the closure of Stark's industrial weapons manufacturing division. Tang Jinyan wanted to try it in advance because he didn't want to attract the attention of S.H.I.E.L.D. too much. In a normal equity transfer, one shareholder purchases shares in large quantities. It's definitely not the same as an ordinary person's sudden dips in Stark Industries. 
SHIELD's expenditure partly relies on World Security Council appropriations and partly on various investment incomes, which are implicitly gray income. Among them, Howard Stark left part of the shares of Stark Industries to Shield. One is to settle the funds of Shield, and the other part is to form an interest body for the two. This is why Tony Stark is missing and Shield is more anxious than anyone else. This is a chicken that lays golden eggs, how could he be lost? An awards ceremony was playing on the TV in the villa. On the technological innovation podium, a military colonel awkwardly held the trophy and shouted Tony Stark's name to the audience. Unfortunately, no one seemed to respond. Obadiah winked at him, tightened his suit, stepped onto the stage, and took the trophy from Colonel Rhodes. Thank you, definitely I am not Tony, I thank you for Tony, and the jury, he has no other shortcomings, the biggest advantage and disadvantage is that he loves his work too much. There was a lot of laughter in the audience, who didn't know the reputation of Tony Stark as a playboy. With an embarrassing smile on his face, Obadiah rounded the court for Tony Stark, and where no one else saw him, his hand holding the trophy was already violent. Maybe that Asian person is right, Stark Industries really belongs to the Stark family, but Tony, without you, Stark Industries will change owners. Tang Jinyan sat on the sofa with his legs crossed, and slammed the TV to death. Pay attention to Tony Stark's news over the past two days, let me know if anything happens. If Tang Jinyan remembers correctly, this scene is the beginning of Iron Man 1. After this awards ceremony, it is Tony Stark's happy jeep journey. And Iron Man 1, can be regarded as the curtain and dividing line of the entire Marvel Universe. Something like the resurrection of Aura, after Iron Man, the superheroes and supervillains of the Marvel Universe are like leaks popping up one after another. Fortunately, there is no mutant in this world, otherwise it would be too messy. Boss Tang set up a FIAG unknowingly. Boss, Crow is here. Wesker walked in from outside the villa, people are in the Continental Hotel. Ulysses Crow, mercenary, smuggler. What made him famous on the black market was that he had a strange metal, sound-absorbing steel, also called vibranium. This metal is very hard, and its special molecular structure makes it almost indestructible because its molecules are relatively static, making it hardly conduct heat and kinetic energy. This characteristic allows it to absorb heat, energy and kinetic energy. The price of this metal on the black market can reach $10,000 a gram. Ulysses Crow is still at ease with such valuable metal in his hand, and he is still alive in the Marvel world because he is cautious enough. Take this transaction as an example. Although there is a reliable intermediary guarantee, Ulysses Crow still chose the Continental Hotel for the transaction. There is no other reason, but safety. Ulysses Crow was drinking alone at the bar of the Continental Hotel. As a frequent visitor of the Continental Hotel, he knew the rules here and didn't worry about anyone doing it on him. Ulysses Crow. Crow raised his head, and opposite him stood an Asian man in a white suit. I am, you are the buyer. Ulysses Crow picked up the whiskey glass and drank it in one gulp. Tang Jinyan pulled back his chair and sat across from Ulysses Crow. Wesker stood behind Tang Jinyan and looked around silently. How much do you want? Ulysses Crow took a look at Tang Jinyan's dress and temperament, and judged the quality of the customer in his heart. He brought out 250 kg of vibranium from Wakanda. He has sold a lot over the years, and he still has less than 100 kg in his hand. He also wants to sell all the goods in his hands as soon as possible. Wakanda's external intelligence agencies have been chasing him for years, and every public appearance is more dangerous for him. But the price of vibranium is destined for its audience, not everyone can buy it. I'm not very interested in the vibranium in your hand. Tang Jinyan touched his chin, how much is the map to Wakanda? When Ulysses Crow heard Tang Jinyan's words, he seemed to blow up his hair and almost jumped up. You are not here to buy things. Ulysses Crow stood up leaving without a word. How about ten million dollars? Tang Jinyan spoke lightly behind Ulysses Crow. Ulysses Crow turned around, with a mocking look on his face. What do you think of his Wakanda? Ten million, there is a real gold mine, no, the gold mine is less than one ten thousandth of his. Quote. Ulysses Crow turned straight upstairs after speaking. What he didn't notice was that a metal spider of file size crawled silently into the inside of his clothes.
I definitely know the value of Wakanda. Tang Jinyan watched the miniature shapeshifting King Kong clinging to Klaus' body, a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, picked up his cane, and walked straight out of the Continental Hotel with Wesker. Watch him, wait until he leaves the mainland hotel and bring people back. I want to live. Whoever has the most money in the Marvel world does not count as Odin, Thanos is such a super standard existence. The richest person is Black Panther. People sit at home and minds come from the sky. A meteorite containing vibranium directly makes Black Panther the world's richest man. The vibranium that throws dozens of streets away from Tony Stark, one gram of vibranium, has a full mine in Wakanda. Boom. Ulysses Crow was sleeping soundly in the bed with a blonde dancer in his arms. A gunshot awakened him from his sleep. He subconsciously stretched his hand to the pillow and touched the gun in his hand. Um. The woman was sleepy, rubbing her eyes, entangled him like an octopus. Ulysses Sklau directly kicked the woman out of the bed, naked, holding a gun in both hands, and cautiously leaning toward the door. You, go out and see what's going on. Crow stopped two steps away from the door, and instead of leaning against the cat's eye, he pointed his gun at the woman. The woman rubbed her waist and got up cursingly, pulled the sheets around her body and walked directly to the door. Open the door, probe, all in one go. As the resident dancer of the Continental Hotel, she has never seen anyone dare to make trouble in the Continental Hotel. She leaned out, in the hallway, four or five rooms, while someone was looking out and to her surprise, most of them were women's colleagues. Boom. With a gunshot, the woman was so frightened that she fell down in the corridor with a clatter. The sheets were scattered, and his white body was spread out on the floor, coquettish and sexy. Before she felt the pain, a pair of leather shoes stepped directly on her back. Sheet. The woman opened her mouth and cursed, raising her head just to see who it was. A long-haired man turned his head, sharpened cold eyes, and a sigh of sorrow. The woman closed her face and smiled flatteringly. She recognized the man in front of her, John Wick, the most famous killer in New York. John Wick just looked back at the woman and walked straight downstairs with the gun in his hand. On the ground he walked on, the carpet was covered with blood ticking. Something has happened, this is the only thought in the woman's mind. She got up in a hurry, and the sheets were too late to be surrounded, and she ran into the room naked. What happened? Crow asked, staring at the woman. Out, something big happened. The woman gasped, John Wick broke the hotel's rule. John Wick, the number one killer of the Continental Hotel. When Ulysses Scrawl heard the woman's words, he let go of his worry. For some reason, he felt a little palpitating when he thought of the buyer during the day. This is your tip. Ulysses Scrawl took out a stack of dollar bills from his bedside bag, drew half of it, and threw it to the woman. The woman picked up the money, kissed, put on her clothes, and left without hesitation. Ulysses Scrawl wrapped his bath towels, walked to the window, and looked at the night view of neon lights. Draw a cigarette from the cigarette case and light it up. No, I can't stay here. Ulysses Scrawl finished smoking a cigarette, turned around, put on his clothes, and packed his luggage. The goal is coming. In a tall building not far from the Continental Hotel, Deadshot was chewing gum in his mouth and looked at the screen displayed on the tablet. Prepare, the boss wants to live. Deadshot clicked the communicator in his ear, opened the gun box, and began to assemble a black special sniper rifle. After the sniper rifle was assembled, Deadshot bit open the bullet box with his teeth and took out a brass bullet with a thick thumb and a long middle finger. Ka, the bullet snapped into the magazine, and the Deadshot stretched out the sniper rifle and aimed it at the street outside the window. At a secret exit of the Continental Hotel, Ulysses Scrawl walked out of the hotel with his bag on his back and looked around. After making sure that there was no one, he walked to a white car. Just when his hand was about to touch the door of the car, the tiny shapeshifting King Kong disguised as a button stretched out a pin-like tentacle on his outer jacket. Laugh. A light blue arc pierced through Ulysses Scrawl's body instantly. He was shivering and stiff, and directly smashed the glass of the white car. Two men in black walked out from the side street corner, dragged Ulysses' screw into a black car. The car was going away, in a dark corner, John Wick came out, he just glanced in the direction the car was going, and turned and walked in the opposite direction. On the roof of the apartment building hundreds of meters away, a dead shot removed the sight from John Wick's head. 
Ulysses Scraw woke up again, already tied to a cross. Who are you? What do you want to do? In the dim basement, Ulysses Scraw looked at the two people standing in front of him in black and white. You don't care who we are. By Ghost played with a sharp scalpel in his hand. My boss wants a road map to Wakanda, I hope you can draw it. I draw it, can you let me go? Krull looked at White Ghost and grinned. Why don't you let me go, I will give you the road map. By Ghost looked at the scalpel in his hand and said nothing, a cold light flashed. Ulysses Scrawl let out a scream. A little finger dropped to the ground. Here, you don't have the power to bargain. By Ghost lifted his foot and trampled Ulysses' broken little finger to the blood. Ulysses Scrawl cursed in pain. White Ghost raised his hand expressionlessly, and another cold light flashed. What? Is the truth of this roadmap sure? A large room with exquisite decoration. The luxurious decoration in the extremely orthodox pompadour style is obviously authentic antique furniture and the strong aroma of hot coffee. The ceiling of this room is made of transparent single-sided crystal glass, with moonlight shining in the living room. Tang Jinyan wears a nightgown, holds coffee in one hand, and a latitude and longitude coordinate map in the other, and studies several marked points on it. This is the road map to Wakanda drawn by Ulysses Scrow. Several marked points are the holes in the Wakanda shield. The country of Wakanda, on the surface a poor and backward small country in Africa, actually relies on the technology developed by Vibranium to completely defeat the Federation. The country is surrounded by an energy cover all year round, and there is no way for outsiders to approach it. When Ulysses Screw was working as a mercenary in Africa, he inadvertently broke into Wakanda and learned the true face of this country. What Tang Jinyan wanted was the secret passage through the shield when he broke into Wakanda. With Dr. Z's Veritaserum, there should be no problem. White Ghost said, I'll take the team there. Wait, let me think about it. Tang Jinyan raised his hand, looked at the road map, his mind turned rapidly. He wants Wakanda's vibranium, but he doesn't want to end this hatred. Wakanda's military and intelligence agencies are very strong, and it would be troublesome to be bitten. He had watched the Avengers Alliance series before traveling, but knew how advanced Wakanda's technology was. However, both vibranium and dollar bills are too fragrant. You need to find a dead ghost in this matter. Tang Jinyan looked for the right person to hold the pot in his mind. Black and white impermanence, Tao Tao Ma Mian and Po Meng are dispatched together, with four ghost chasing squads. Boss, is the movement too loud? White Ghost was a little surprised. In order to organize the current personnel firepower deployment, these people are enough to subvert a small country in South Africa. Don't be careless, Wakanda is not that simple, Tang Jinyan flicked his fingers on the armrest of the sofa at random. Is there any trace of the Hydra thing you checked? A look of difficulty appeared on by Ghost's face. Boss, this organization is very secretive. We haven't found much information about them, but we have determined that a base in Fenland should have something to do with them. That's good. Tang Jinyan is not surprised. Seriously speaking, Hydra has been integrated with S.H.I.E.L.D. On the bright side, it is really not easy to find their own independent base. But as long as they have a base, things will be much easier. For this mission, I want you to bring back at least two tons of vibranium. After you come out, you can lead the traces to the Hydra base in Fenland. Tang Jinyan thought for a long time in his heart, but still felt that Hydra is the most suitable to carry this scapegoat, and the file size is suitable for both long and short. Even if Hydra feels aggrieved, a terrorist organization that has been destroyed will not be able to make a statement. Boss, after finishing his business, White Ghost left and dispatched his staff. The door from the living room to the bedroom suddenly opened. Ada Wong, who flew from San Francisco to New York overnight, was wearing a white silk pajamas, leaning against the door frame, with red lips biting her fingers, and her charming and charming posture was really seductive. Tang Jinyan took a deep breath in roar, got up, walked in front of King Ada, picked her up, and walked into the bedroom amidst her sweet laughter. Early in the morning, when Tang Jinyan walked out of his bedroom refreshedly, the cook has prepared breakfast. Wesker walked in. Boss, Norman Osborne is here to visit you. Norman Osborne. Boss Tang was a little surprised. Please go to the reception room, I will go there later. King Ada walked out of the bedroom in a daze, and quickly plunged into Tang Jinyan's arms. Boss, ah, so sleepy. 
Tang Jinyan sighed inwardly, so don't blame King Ada, he is too big, she can't bear it. Tang Jinyan patted her face, coaxing her and said, hey, go wash your face and have breakfast later. In the reception room, in a straight suit, Norman Osborne politely said thank you to the servant who served the coffee. Just last night, he failed another experimental project with an investment of more than nine figures. This is the 17th project he has failed in the past two years. For this reason, he and several board shareholders almost fell out. The reason why he came to see Tang Jinyan early in the morning was because these days, he sent people to investigate Tang Jinyan and his two so-called biology and genetics professors. Just this morning, a researcher he had mixed into Tang's biological company told him that a research project of Tang's biological company was able to overcome most genetic diseases. This gave Norman Osborne a pleasant surprise. He originally planned to let the researcher steal the data samples of the experimental project, but unfortunately those experimental samples were kept too tightly. No way, Norman Osborne can only come to see Tang Jinyan. After packing, Tang Jinyan came to the reception room and made a move with Norman Osborne. Tang Jinyan has recently developed a habit. He took out the jade tortoise and played with it on the palm of his hand. After watching Wesker mix a glass of wine for Norman Osborne and give it to him, he gently gave it to him. He waved his hand and said, Excuse me, Mr. Norman, what can I do in such an early morning? Tang Jinyan's eyes narrowed slightly. Norman Osborne pondered for a moment. Mr. Tang, don't you know if you can count on the deal you mentioned last time? Tang Jinyan smiled calmly and said, Definitely, Osborne Group is a well-deserved biological giant in the world. It would be a great honor to be a shareholder of it. Norman Osborne was silent for a moment, and gently twisted the wine glass in his hand with his fingers, looked at Tang Jinyan seriously, and said for a long time. 500 million US dollars, 3% of the shares, this is the biggest concession I can accept, but I have a condition, on the board of directors, you must be on my side. Tang Jinyan looked at him and laughed. Relax, Mr. Norman, Norman Osborne can only grow and grow in your hands. I have no intention of interfering with your power on the board of directors. This is what Boss Tang said. Norman Osborne started from scratch and created the Osborne Group of Connaught University, and his ability naturally excels. Only because of the influence of family genetic diseases, he spent a lot of money in biological genetic research in the later period, which caused dissatisfaction among shareholders. Norman Osborne took a sip of wine, sighed and said, looking back, I will ask the lawyer to contact you. I don't know if I would be honored to see the two doctors and their research results. Tang Jinyan asked strangely. Research results. Downs Biopharmaceutical Company, originally an ordinary pharmaceutical company, has a registered capital of only 2 million US dollars. The founder of the company is a Chinese American. The company is small and has no capital to promote large medical projects. Before being acquired by Boss Tang, the company's research direction was the Western medicine of Chinese patent medicine. It's just that the company has been in business for three years, and few projects have been completed, and its operations have been bleak. The reason Tang Jinyan bought the company was actually nothing more than a business license. It's just that he doesn't know what research results the company has. Instead, an outsider, Norman Osborne, came to tell him. Boss Tang played with Jade Turtle quietly, but he was a little murmured in his heart. Downs Biopharmaceuticals are definitely not in downtown Manhattan, where there is a lot of money. It takes at least three hours to drive, and Norman Osborne seems to be a little eager. No way, Boss Tang can only accompany him to take a private helicopter. The Bell 407 GXP helicopter was bought by Tang Jinyan when he bought the villa, and it was parked on the apron of the villa. This helicopter can accommodate five passengers, can reach a speed of 160 miles per hour, and has a flight mileage of 387 miles. It is not expensive, and it costs $3 million. Wesker is a part-time flight crew member, and Tang Jinyan and Norman Osborne are on the helicopter. Mr. Norman, I heard that our company is working on an individual combat equipment for the military. One of the benefits of the Bell 407 GXP helicopter is its smooth flight and low noise, which does not require Tang Jinyan to chat with Norman Osborne. 
Norman Osborne twitched his mouth and watched Tang Jinyan unceremoniously and directly referred to the Osborne group as our company. Norman Osborne laughed and sighed. The group did sign a cooperation project with the Federal Ministry of Defense, but the military has always been dissatisfied with our products. There was a look of interest in Tang Jinyan's eyes. He knew the individual combat equipment that Norman Osborne had designed for the military. That is the later Green Goblin suit, Green Goblin armor, Green Goblin flight skateboard, pumpkin bomb. Although these high-tech equipment is not comparable to Iron Man's armor, it does greatly increase the individual combat ability to a certain extent. The reason why the military has been dissatisfied is simple and expensive. Norman Osborn had a bitter tears when he spoke. The research and development costs of weapons plus the manufacturing costs, a Green Goblin suit sold to the military is 500,000 US dollars. According to conscience, it is indeed close to the cost price, but the gangsters of the Ministry of National Defense still feel that this price is expensive. A set of individual armor is 500,000 US dollars. With the funding of the Ministry of National Defense, there is no way for this individual weapon to be installed on a large scale. With a small number of purchases, the Osborne Group cannot even earn the research funding for this project. How about packing this project for me? Tang Jinyan smiled and said, I know some friends, their organization is not short of money, I think they are happy to order a batch of uniforms for their employees. Norman Osborne took a deep look at Tang Jinyan, with a playful smile in his eyes. Since Tang, you are also a shareholder of the company, and since you are interested in this project, I will transfer this project to you after the next board of directors, but the profit and loss of this project. Don't worry about Mr. Norman, Tang Jinyan smiled, this organization is not small. Generally large companies have at least four sets of work uniforms per year. I think there is no problem in returning to the original project. That's good, Norman Osborne said. The profitability of the group can be guaranteed, but this kind of individual combat equipment, once it appears in a place that shouldn't be there, it must attract the attention of the CIA. An important military industrial project of the Osborne group was stolen by terrorists. This is a loss to the group. It is impossible for the Federation to embarrass the victims. I think the legal department of the group will not agree to it. Tang Jinyan took out a wooden cigar box inlaid with gems from the storage box of the helicopter, took one out and handed it to Norman Osborne. The finest Cuban cigars even have a few diamonds in their heads. Tang Jinyan and Norman Osborne smoked cigars and smiled at each other. The helicopter landed slowly, and at a place similar to a factory building, the empty space in the middle had been cleared. Norman Osborne got off the helicopter, looked at the somewhat rudimentary company premises, and frowned. There is an old saying in the East that if the mountain is not high, there is a ferry. Tang Jinyan saw the disgust in Norman Osborne's eyes. He was smoking a cigar, beckoning, and Dr. Isaacs in a white coat came over. Boss. Doctor, this is Mr. Norman. You have met before. Mr. Norman wants to visit our company. Please introduce Mr. Norman. Dr. Isaacs nodded coldly at Norman Osborne. As the big boss in the world of Resident Evil, the Umbrella Company under his control once destroyed the world. In his eyes, Norman Osborne is just the boss of an ordinary small company. Mr. Norman, come with me. Not all companies have to choose tall office buildings because of cost considerations. However, Norman Osborne followed Dr. Isaacs into the factory, and was surprised to find that although the Tang Biopharmaceutical Company was simple in appearance, it was full of technological sense inside. Thousands of square meters of the field house, three upper and lower floors, each layer is divided by dust-proof and bullet-proof high-tech nanomaterials. The pure white clean room, the robotic arm full of technological sense, and the orderly and busy researchers. From the outside, it is not much different from the A-level laboratories of the Osborne Group. Norman Osborne followed Isaacs around the laboratories. In a closed laboratory, several researchers are injecting antivirus serum on a chimpanzee. Apart from the transparent, bulletproof, heat-insulated, and sterile glass windows, Dr. Isaacs Z accompanied Tang Jinyan and Norman Osborne to watch the researchers' operations intently. Retroviruses are not uncommon, but the differences in the genes of each person's cells make the number of variants of this virus as many as tens of thousands. 
Dr. Z was sitting in a wheelchair and introduced to Norman Osborne. In terms of biological genetics, Dr. Isaacs is a true expert. The targeted drugs he has developed can treat more than 80% of retroviruses. I need a blood sample from Mr. Norman. Isaacs looked at Norman Osborne's hopeful eyes and said calmly. Norman Osborne only hesitation for a moment, then followed Isaacs to the blood collection room. Select all the personnel recently recruited in the research room. Seeing Norman Osborne enter the blood collection room, Tang Jinyan's smiling expression became a little cold. Most of the company's researchers are newly recruited during the recent period. Most of them are headhunters with high salaries, and some are graduate students from colleges and universities. It was Tang Jinyan's expectation to be mixed with sand by others, but the thorns would naturally be picked out. I'll make arrangements right away. Dr. Z looked at the boss's expression, didn't dare to say anything, said hurriedly. How about the research on Jade Potion? Can it be on the agenda? The current laboratories are not up to the safety standards. At least three safety levels must be improved to conduct research. Jade Pharmacy, the most famous product of company against the world. In the anti-war world, most people in the world are turned into zombies by Jade Potions. Tang Jinyan naturally didn't want this world to mutate into the Marvel zombie universe, but the Jade Potion variant researched by company could increase a lot of high-end combat power. Take Dr. Z in front of him, don't look at him now as a weak, decadent scientist, a dose of Jade Potion. You can get up and play a few rounds with the Hulk right away. Tang Jinyan's idea is to castrate the contagiousness of the Jade Potion and increase the mutation of the Jade Potion, which is the enhanced version of Super Serum. Isaacs and Dr. Z are the leaders of this project. As for the shareholding of Osborne Group, it also serves this project. However, as Dr. Z said, to develop the Jade virus, at least a permanent research base is needed. In Boss Tang's plan, the hive base in the world of Resident Evil is good. The underground base that can withstand nuclear bomb attacks, the entire underground ecological park, is managed and controlled by the artificial intelligence Red Queen. The name of the base, Boss Tang, has already thought about it, Ghostgate is closed. Currently, there is no shortage of Tang Jinyan for the structure of this base. Isaacs is the boss behind the umbrella. Naturally, there is a structure diagram of the honeycomb. What Boss Tang lacks now is the startup capital. The cost of a complete underground honeycomb is at least 1 billion US dollars. This is not counted as the high-tech equipment inside. It is all completed, and conservatively estimated that it will cost at least $3 billion. Gamengguan, Wangquan Road, Nehi Bridge, Wangchuan River, Yanluo Temple. It will cost at least $15 billion US dollars to complete the project. It's definitely too early to talk about this. Tang Jinyan looks at the chimpanzee on the operating table through the glass window. Can the ghost gate be built? It depends on the white ghost and how they did it on Wakanda's side. A few days later, Wakanda, located in eastern Africa, has been isolated from the world for centuries. On the surface, it is a poor and backward agricultural country. This semi-feudal country, which seems to be a little uncivilized in all countries of the world, is actually the most technologically advanced country on earth, possessing a unique and rare resource, vibranium. Out of a certain humanitarian sentiment, the United Nations will donate food and supplies to some small and poor countries in Africa every year, including Wakanda. Trucks loaded with supplies are driving across the land of Africa, and the Red Cross flags hung on the trucks indicate the identity of these convoys. They are the aid convoy of the United Nations, and their target is Wakanda, a small poor country in Africa. More than a dozen trucks loaded with food and medical supplies stopped at the border of Wakanda, and Wakanda's Minister of the Interior welcomed them warmly. The Minister of the Interior warmly thanked the aid workers, and a group of people lazily carrying supplies behind him. But when a black soldier of the United Nations peacekeeping force offered to visit Wakanda, Wakanda's Minister of the Interior indeed rejected him directly on the grounds of the kingdom's tradition without hesitation. I just want to see if our materials are used by the people of Wakanda. The black soldier complained angrily. His words immediately evoked the emotions of many UN-assisted soldiers and staff in Africa. In the war in Africa, the warlords have separatist regimes. Many aid materials to Africa are not delivered to ordinary people at all. 
They are sold directly by those in power and replaced with famous cigarettes, wines, luxury cars, and even yellow bullets. Sir, can we meet these refugees receiving supplies? Go and see where they live. I'm afraid it can't. Black Panther will not allow outsiders to step into the land of Wakanda. This is a tradition that has been passed down for centuries. Wakanda's Minister of the Interior, facing the request of the leader of the Joint Convoy, a colonel to maintain the troops, refused his request without the slightest emotion. The convoy was billowing smoke and dust in the arid area of Africa, like a yellow dragon. How? What test result? In the aid to Africa convoy, the black soldier who had just spoken was sitting in the co-pilot position of a truck, muttering something to his watch. Strong energy response, energy numerical analysis, this layer of energy shield is at least equivalent to the shield level of an ordinary three-tier space battleship. The black soldier's mechanical watch, Kaka Kaka, automatically detached from his wrist, shapeshifting into a small slap high robot. According to the current analysis of the Earth's weapons, at least one tactical nuclear bomb of more than 10 tons is needed to blast off this protective cover. The little robot Kaki turned its body, reporting the analysis results. It seems that we can only start the original plan. Send the analysis results to the black and white impermanence and the bullhead, let them enter Wakanda through the coordinate points, and I will create chaos according to the plan. He shot the ghost soldier driving next to him deadly, passing by the small town in front, give me a chance to get off the car. Yes, sir. A diamond mine was discovered on Wakanda's land. This news spread like a trade wind to the tribal countries with large file sizes near Wakanda within a day. For a while, Wakanda, a country that tried to hide itself, became the focus of East Africa. Ordinary Africans think very simply, the diamond mine is so big, they want to mine, they want to make a fortune. These Africans who had nothing to do were also very straightforward, and they gathered directly at the border of Wakanda in small groups. Within two or three days, thousands of people gathered near the border of Wakanda. These African people who brought their own dry food did not dare to step forward in the face of Wakanda's armed soldiers, but their dreams of getting rich made them reluctant to leave. What's the matter, haven't found out who is behind the scenes. In the magnificent palace of Wakanda's capital, Bernan Zaka, a fat old black man sat on the throne with an angry expression. On either side of the throne are several black female guards with bald heads holding spears. The old black man is the king of Wakanda, the current Black Panther Tekaka. At the moment's head he was obviously angry. When such a big event has happened, Pride has not investigated it clearly until now. Pride is Wakanda's external intelligence agency. Wakanda not only has rare metals, high-tech weapons and advanced education. There is also Pride, its own spy agency. According to T'Challa's later description, this intelligence agency is more powerful than the Federal Central Intelligence Agency, but slightly inferior to S.H.I.E.L.D. That is to say, this organization has been responsible for hunting down Ulysses' screw. But obviously, this institution disappointed the king. The person in charge of pride knelt under the throne and said nothing, listening to the old king's reprimand. At this moment, a strong young black man walked in. Father. The young black man saluted T'Chaka and said. I went to the border and saw it. Except for ordinary people, there are now many warlords and mercenary organizations. We need to destroy them as soon as possible, otherwise this group of hyenas will cause us trouble. The young black man is the son of the old black king, Wakanda's next black panther, T'Challa. To this only son, T'Chaka was very tolerant. T'Challa, once war starts, Wakanda will be exposed to the outside world. The old king obviously had his own concerns. He didn't want the people of Wakanda to have too much contact with the outside world, just to protect Wakanda's vibranium. He also knows how external things will impact the people of Wakanda. Consciousness shock is a terrible thing. The people of Gaul personally sent their king to the guillotine because they found that they didn't need a king. The young prince obviously did not understand the concerns of the old king. The young and energetic he vowed to his father. Father, give them to me. You don't need to use Wakanda's weapons. I need those outside guns in the warehouse. I can beat them back. T'Chaka took a deep look at his stupid son. Okay, let the guards accompany you, pay attention to safety. Teams of soldiers gathered from all over Wakanda towards the border. 
At the border of Wakanda Energy Shield, there is a deep valley under the waterfall. There is a dense forest beside the pond. The grass is high enough for one person. Even the hunters of Wakanda will not come to such a place where there is no connection. The plan was successful. A map was placed on the ground, and White Ghost took a dagger and stuck it at a point on the Wakanda map. This is the mining area, where Wakanda mines vibranium. There is a warehouse dedicated to storing vibranium. Now half of the mining area's troops have been transferred to the border area. Let's raid here. Hey Wuchang and I led three teams. After we get enough ore, we retreat along this route. You will lead a team here to meet you, Niatu, and arrange sniper points. Bane nodded, expressing understanding. Don't forget to get things ready. By Ghost gave an order, and everyone checked the equipment, guns and ammunition. Bane took out a bunch of badges from a tactical backpack and sent them down one by one. On the badge is an image similar to the head of an octopus in an octopus. Wakanda Vibranium Mining Area Unlike ordinary metal veins, vibranium's firmness is unsolvable. However, after centuries of research, the Wakanda people have learned to use over-frequency vibration to decompose ores. The high magnetic levitation mine car pulls a cart of coarse ore out of the mine. In the mining area, there is a special refining and processing plant, and these coarse ore will be further processed and refined. The refined vibranium metal ingots are stored in a dedicated warehouse. Every once in a while, the royal family will send people to remove these vibranium metal ingots. Used for processing weapons and research. In the vibranium warehouse, four black men are holding spears and scimitars at their waists, constantly patrolling the door. They look relaxed, standing loosely. The spear in his hand is also slanted. It's not to blame them. Wakanda has been in peace for a long time, and the energy shield covering the entire Wakanda made it impossible for foreign enemies to invade. These guards didn't know it, and they were staring at them with their eyes on the reverse slope less than 100 meters away. Do it. Snake Eye made a gesture. Wait a minute, the surface coating of this warehouse is extremely hard. High explosive bombs may not be able to explode it. Wait for their ore to come in. White Ghost communicated with Snake Eye with lips. Snake Eye nodded and leaned down. This wait lasts for two hours, and the sunlight in Africa is still very hot even with the energy shield. However, whether it is a white ghost, a snake eye, or a group of ghost soldiers, they are all trained, crawling in the dark, as if they were sculptures, motionless. Coming. A six-wheeled mine cart full of refined vibranium drove from a distance, and white ghost was shocked. The mine truck, which looked like an armored dump truck, stopped at the door. Two black men jumped out of the car and called Roar to the black men at the door. A black man stretched his wrist toward the warehouse door, and a light blue beam shot from the wristband on his wrist. After the warehouse door was exposed to blue light, it slowly opened. Superior. White Ghost made a tactical cut of his throat, and his whole body sprang out like a cheetah. Laugh. A black guard saw only a white figure flashing past, and a mouthful of katana had pierced his heart. Pissed. White Ghost drew out the knife without looking back, and again with a backhand, stabbing a black driver to the heart. Several Wakanda guards screamed again and again, brandishing their spears and rushing towards the White Ghost. As they waved their spears, blue light converged on the surface of the spearhead of the spear, and blue light shot towards the White Ghost. Although White Ghost was caught off guard by these spear energy guns, his reaction was not slow. An iron bridge, his upper body was almost 90 degrees back, avoiding a few blue lasers, slashing his hands, a shuriken shot out. The two black guards didn't have time to dodge, and they were shot directly into the front door with shurikens. The neurotoxin smeared on the dart's body will attack immediately when it comes into contact with blood. In less than three seconds, there was a thump, and the two black men fell directly to the ground and killed. Seeing that the situation was not good, the remaining two blacks turned around to run away, and a figure appeared silently behind them. Snake Eye raised two Uzi submachine guns loaded with messaging devices. Puff 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 puff. Evacuate in three minutes. One after another modified high horsepower black motorcycles drove into the warehouse, the ghost soldiers took the time to put pieces of vibranium ore into the motorcycle's special storage box. The density of vibranium is extremely high. The 250 kilograms that Krau carried in Wakanda at the time was no more than a hammer file size. 
Tang Jinyan ordered at least two tons of vibranium, a motorcycle modified by a group of white ghosts, each of which can carry 300 kilograms of vibranium. They prepared a total of 20 motorcycles. Within three minutes, two minutes and 23 seconds, the storage boxes of 20 modified motorcycles were full. Snake Eye and 19 ghost soldiers rode out of the warehouse on motorcycles. Escape quickly according to the scheduled evacuation route. White Ghost followed with the remaining ghost soldiers, guarding against Wakanda's pursuit. In fact, Wakanda's Skynet system was not slow in response. Although most of the surveillance personnel focused on the border area, it only took less than 15 minutes. The harsh alarm bell rang throughout Wakanda. A technologically savvy vibranium plane took off directly, searching for traces of intruders in the air. About 10 minutes after the vibranium plane took off, White Ghost and his team were exposed to Wakanda's surveillance network. Knock these planes down. By Ghost watched Roar's roaring fighter plane, and calmly ordered. The two Ghost soldiers picked up the rocket launcher and knelt down, carrying two rockets in the sky. Boom. The two fireballs exploded in midair and did not cause any damage to the vibranium aircraft. However, the flight crews in the cockpit of the aircraft felt the electronic parts in the aircraft flicker. They quickly reported the situation to the command center through a communicator. It's a graphite bomb, these invaders are here prepared. In Wakanda's Skynet command center, the old king looked at the white ghost and his group through the surveillance with an angry expression. A young girl with dirty braids sits in front of a supercomputer, her hands flying with her fingers. Graphite bombs can destroy the electronic components inside the machinery, but our aircraft has added a vibranium layer to the core components of the precision instruments, and it will soon be able to get rid of the influence of these graphite bombs. The girl with dirty braids looks just like going to middle and high school, but she is very skilled at tapping codes. She moves her fingers like flying with her hands and controls remotely to remove the influence of graphite bombs on fighters. How long it takes. T'Challa looked at the surveillance screen, White Ghost and his group were fleeing at an accelerated rate, frowning. These invaders reminded him of a guy who hated him. Ulysses Scraw, Wakanda has not found his secret passage into Wakanda all these years. If these invaders really have something to do with Ulysses Scrawl, then they must have a secret passage to the outside world. If they were allowed to escape with vibranium, it would be a shame for Wakanda. Three minutes, as long as three minutes, the energy recoil of the vibranium protective film can remove all graphite dust effects. The little girl with dirty braids replied without looking back. Order the border troops to encircle, and these invaders must not be let go. In the jungle area on the border of Wakanda, towering trees and kudzu vine branches. Twenty motorcycles drove on the jungle trails opened with mountain knives. The tall grass concealed their figure, and Wakanda's fighter planes and border troops were all attracted by the white ghost. This also made the evacuation of the transportation convoy smoothly according to the original plan. On the other hand, white ghost had some difficulty in resisting. The soldiers of the Guichai squad are all elites of the elite, brave and not afraid of death, and the weapons and equipment in their hands are not inferior to federal-style weapons at all. Unfortunately, Wakanda's equipment is an alternative developed based on vibranium technology. Energy Cloak, the bullet of standard 7.62 can't penetrate the bulletproof layer of the cloak at all. Energy Spears, short spears, although I don't know why black people are keen on the style of cold weapons, their weapons are real pulse energy weapons. Not to mention that there are vibranium fighters in the sky, sweeping down a beam of energy from time to time. Faced with the crushing of such weapons and equipment, White Ghost can only flee with the Ghost team in embarrassment. After all, no matter how high his skill is, he can't resist so many energy beams. White Ghost had to flee for his life and buy time for the transport convoy. Gradually, more and more Wakanda people came up around him. More than a dozen rhinos in battle armor surrounded the White Ghost group from all sides. The black brawn Wakanda on the rhinoceros, holding a machete in one hand and opening a blue energy cloak in the other, blocking the bullets vented by the soldiers of the Guichai squad, and directly rushed up on the rhino. The big guy weighing several tons roared and rushed over, shaking the ground, like a moving hill. Without any words, the two ghost soldiers directly greeted them and roared, Hail Hydra. As they opened the tab on the inside of the body armor, a fierce fire burst into the sky. 
10 kilograms of hexogen high explosive detonated instantly, and the power of hexogen was 1.5 times that of TNT, which directly exploded a radius of 100 meters. The strong shockwave directly overturned several nearby rhinos to the ground. A hapless knight couldn't dodge, and the rhinos smashed into a solid body. What are they shouting? Through the sound receiving device of the on site communicator, Tachaka clearly heard the shouts of the two ghost soldiers when they blew themselves up. This immediately brought up the bad memories of the old king. During World War II, Hydra swept most of the earth, even in Africa. Tekaka naturally knew the horror of Hydra. Don't let them go. Hydra, hasn't this terrorist organization disappeared with the Red Skull and Captain Asterisk Asterisk and was defeated by the Roaring Commando and the federal government? Tachaka's face became solemn. Father, something is wrong, these people don't seem to have traces of vibranium. The little girl with dirty braids, the daughter of King Tekaka, Princess Su Rui looked at the surveillance screen suspiciously. Tachaka was shocked, and then zoomed in on the surveillance screen. All fighters, fan search, and other intruders. The motorcycle team carrying vibranium walks through the dense jungle grass. The road opened early is large enough to accommodate a single motorbike. The tall grasses perfectly shielded the trail of the convoy. Seeing that the transportation convoy is getting closer and closer to the target point of the waterfall. Boom. Boom. Accompanied by two violent explosions, two airborne rockets exploded two three-meter deep pits in front of the convoy. Found the intruder. A vibranium fighter hovered over the convoy, watching a series of small red dots appearing on the thermal imaging display. After reporting to the king, the flightman directly depressed the cannon launch button. The light blue energy beam of the forearm fell from the sky like raindrops. A carrier motorcycle full of vibranium ore could not dodge and was directly bombarded by energy beams. Broken. When Bai Ghost heard the explosion in the distance, his heart was anxious. He had the heart to go to support, but it was a pity that more and more Wakanda ground armaments had made him exhausted. The dozen or so fighters that received instructions quickly moved closer to the direction of the convoy. When the vibranium fighters circled and attacked the ground, four or five figures appeared in the pool under the waterfall. Whoosh whoosh. A series of rockets rose from the shore, followed by a torrent of metal soaring into the sky. Boom 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 boom. The unsuspecting vibranium fighter was directly hit by five rockets, and the fuselage shook directly, before the flight crew could react. On the ground, a row of metal pipes resembling honeycombs blasted tens of thousands of hot metal torrents. The thermal weapon named, Metal Storm, fired 16,000 specially made armor-piercing potent bullets within one second, and the metal torrent obscured the sky. Although Wakanda's vibranium fighter is called vibranium fighter, only the important parts are made of vibranium, and more just add a layer of metal coating on the exterior. This unlucky fighter was first hit hard by five consecutive rockets, and then encountered the big killer of Metal Storm. Before the flight crew could control the bumpy fuselage, there was a loud bang, and the entire plane turned into a fireball in midair. Snake Eye looked at Bane, who was manipulating the Metal Storm, gave a thumbs up, and recruited the Roar staff to quickly clean up the scattered vibranium. Before they could take any action, the sound of Roar's roar came from midair, and several fighter planes with Wakanda characteristics swooped down. Bane frowned and exchanged glances with Snake Eye. In any case, Vibranium must be taken back, even if they all stay here, it would be a good idea. Snake Eye picked up a rocket launcher, and Bane controlled the metal storm to aim it in the air. Everyone, I think you need support. A sound of electric current came from the communicators of everyone. I'm here to entangle these big guys, you seize the time to evacuate. By the way, can you say something nice to the boss, I'm going to add a layer of vibranium coating on the surface. Fortunately to be a beautiful Starscream tattoo. In the sound of electric current, an F-15 supersonic fighter appeared behind several vibranium combat fuselages. The speed is amazing. The F-15 dived from high altitude and chased the ass of a vibranium fighter. Two heat-seeking missiles directly hit the wing of the vibranium fighter. Boom. Two heat-seeking missiles hit hard. I don't know if it was a coincidence. Under the two missiles, the vibranium coating didn't seem to give the fighter too good protection. This vibranium fighter plane with its ass turned into a fireball in midair. Several vibranium fighters pulled up one after another, turned their directions, and encircled this uninvited guest. 
It is a pity that this F-15 fighter is so fast that it can't see the ass of several fighters in a hovering upwards. The speed of this fighter is at least Mach 3.5. Su Rui analyzed the speed and flight trajectory of the sudden F-15 fighter, and exclaimed in surprise. She didn't even notice that her father's face was so dark that she definitely couldn't see it, it might be because of skin color. Several fighters chased in the air. The ground, the jungle, and the white ghost who was in a bitter battle also ushered in a turning point. Water escape. The technique of mist hiding. With a low drink, the thick and invisible white mist instantly enveloped most of the jungle. A figure appeared behind the white ghost, and the white ghost was about to slash out with a knife subconsciously. When he turned his head, he saw the bronze mask on the face of the incoming person. Hoayao, Hagi Kakashi. Water escaped the technique of water dragon bombs. White Ghost looked at the man in front of him with a strange expression on his hands. Countless currents rose into the sky and turned into a huge amounts of water dragon, roaring at Wakanda's chasing soldiers. A group of Wakanda's border guards cautiously searched for the enemy's trail in the thick fog where they could not see their fingers. They raised their heads alertly, turned their guns, and aimed them in the direction of the sound. Boom. Wow. A huge amounts of water dragon roared with a huge amount of water. Hundreds of black Wakanda soldiers were washed away by the huge wave-like building blocks in the huge water dragon wave of tens of meters. Go! Hagi Kakashi glanced at the thick fog that was gradually dissipating, grabbed a ghost soldier who was inconvenient to move with one hand, leapt his feet and stepped on the treetops like flying. Unexpectedly, there really is such a magical ninjutsu in this world. White Ghost's long knife was scabbed, and couldn't help sighing. Although the laneying ninja he was in was called a ninja, his training wasn't just about swordsmanship and assassination. The so-called ninjutsu was nothing more than a blind technique using smoke and other props to perform. Bai Ghost didn't expect to see real ninjutsu one day. Huo Yao, the fire virtue of Ju Yao. Heavenly Court Ju Yao Xing Jun ranks third. What happened? The sudden appearance of heavy fog blocked the monitoring of the Skynet system. Even with thermal imaging technology, a bunch of red dots appeared in the monitoring could not tell whether it was a person or a beast. Let all the soldiers exit the jungle and order the fighter planes to bomb the jungle indiscriminately. T'Chaka is a decisive man in power despite his age. He gave an order and five fighters in the hinterland of Wakanda took off at the same time. At the same time, the four fighters chasing the F-15 supersonic fighter received the order and turned their directions at the same time. My friends, I think you have to speed up. Starscream chased behind the vibranium fighter plane to harass the sneak attack, and did not forget to send an alert to Bane and White Ghost. Even Starscream is the fastest player in shapeshifting King Kong, but he himself can't stop a dozen vibranium fighters. Soon the two fighters got rid of Starscream's intrusion and came to the sky above the forest. Destroy, Vibranium Blaster ready. Two Vibranium fighters were suspended in the air, and the bomb nests of the cabins were automatically opened, revealing two golden elliptical missiles. That's too late. Looking at the fighter planes in the sky, Hagi Kakashi felt a dangerous throbbing in his heart. Is there something more dangerous than the tail beast? Hagi Kakashi whispered and looked at Bane. White Ghost, Snake Eye and a group of ghost soldiers. Shen Wei. Guyu in Kakashi's left eye turned quickly, and an invisible position enveloped everyone. Bane, White Ghost, Snake Eyes, ghost soldiers, including motorcycle equipment, vibranium ore disappeared in place. The Wakanda vibranium fighter plane in the sky, two missile tails brought hot flames and blasted downward. Hagi Kakashi covered his left eye with his hand, and his figure disappeared. Boom, boom. Two huge amounts of mushroom clouds rose up in the jungle, hundreds of meters in the center of the explosion were raised to the ground, and the strong shockwave uprooted pieces of ancient trees. Half an hour after the explosion, Wakanda's search team entered the explosion area. Their target is the lost vibranium. As for the intruder, they believe that no one can survive this explosion. But things were beyond their expectation. They searched along the edge of the explosion and found no half of vibranium. Only found this. T'Chaka looked at the half of the badge lying quietly in the tray. On the broken badge, two tentacle-like snake heads spit out cores. Use all the power of pride to find the intruder and the lost vibranium. How much is six tons of vibranium worth? 
One gram of vibranium is 10,000 US dollars, and six tons is six million grams, that is. 60 billion. Tang Jinyan shook the red wine glass, and the red wine seemed to shine with golden light in the afterglow of the setting sun. You know that in Marvel's official data, Tony Stark's personal net worth is only 13.2 billion. Tang, swell, to say that the boss seems to feel that he is exuding the golden light that belongs to the local tyrant. The only way to relieve worries is to get rich. Boss Tang took a sip of red wine and cast his gaze on the sea. Wesker. Boss. Wesker who had been following Tang Jinyan five steps, stepped forward. How are the drawings for the hive prepared? Boss, it's ready. Tang Jinyan roar breathed the breath of the sea breeze, inexplicably feeling that the world was in full control. Going back to register a construction company in New York, we will enter the real estate industry. Umbrellas can build countless bases around the world because they are powerful enough to control all walks of life in the world. Take the hive underground in Raccoon City. The entire raccoon city is built with umbrellas, not to mention a small hive. Boss Tang does not currently have such a powerful force, but there is no problem in setting up a small construction company. This can be regarded as a small investment, and New York, which is plagued by disasters, has to take care of Boss Tang's business during the reconstruction process. New York, Manhattan Villa, Night. In the brightly lit villa, nine people sit around the oak dining table, which is filled with sumptuous delicacies. Top quality white sturgeon caviar, top quality gall snails, foie gras, Japanese wagyu sashimi, grilled meat, and scorched king crab legs from the Bering Sea. Served with Romani Conti red wine in a decanter. This sumptuous gourmet banquet was a celebration banquet hosted by Mr. Tang. Naturally, Tang Jinyan sat on the upper head without a doubt. On his left, the lower head was Kakashi Hagi, who was wearing a mask, with white hair, and only exposed his eyes. Kakashi is headed by Wesker, Bane, and Ku Zian. Opposite the three of them sat Deadshot, White Ghost, and Snake Eyes. On the right, a burly old man with purple hair in a purple suit was holding his arm, his eyes scanned one by one, and he looked at everyone present. This is the new recruit you asked me to take. The physical quality is not as good as that of the newly enlisted Navy recruits. The purple-haired old man has a square mouth and a wide nose, and his eyes are as sharp as hooks. His eyes swept over. In addition to Ku Zian, even Hama Kakashi dodges in his eyes. At the moment, the black wrist Zepha at the end of his prime, he has not yet retreated to the second line at the moment, he is the admiral of the peak period. As the top power to master the sea, one of the three navy generals, countless pirates sent to prison by him. How could his aura be beyond the reach of ordinary people? Ji Yu Zian, a young girl who was trained as a killing machine since she was a child, had no feeling for Zepha's aura, and she ate a piece of lamb chops with self-confidence. Jealous Zepha stared at Ji Yu Zian several times. According to the evaluation of the employment system, Zepha's employment level is legendary elementary level. What is a legend? One enemy against one country, the reputation in their own world is a legend, a miracle. Zepha's employment price is 100 million US dollars, and the annual follow-up salary is also 100 million. Tang Jinyan's recruitment and employment system is not to choose whoever wants to choose, but to randomly refresh 10 characters every day. Boss Tang can choose at will, see the talents he likes, and he can retain them immediately or hire them later. Being able to hire Zepha was an unexpected surprise for Tang Jinyan. The recruitment system is constantly refreshing some of the roles of Passerby A, Passerby B, Makoto Ito, and Shinji Makiri, which makes Boss Tang feel that the dog system is taunting him. Although Boss Tang hugged from left to right, and was 404 from time to time, he was also in the bushes of thousands of flowers. It's so pitiful, he only takes the kidneys, not the heart. Fortunately, although the six tons of vibranium ore were not sold, the system seemed to default to the value of vibranium. Tang Jinyan's assets exceeded tens of billions, unlocking the recruitment and employment rights of the legend. And the first legend to appear was Zepha. This is Mr. Zepha, your future instructors. Tang Jinyan briefly introduced to everyone. Looking at General Zepha, who was dressed in a purple suit with a cloak of justice behind his back, everyone looked different. Well, I don't need to participate anymore. Kimu Kaka raised her head lazily, Guyu spinning in his eyes, staring at Zepha. 
Under Zephyr's momentum just now, he reflexed and chose to avoid it. Although it was nothing for a ninja, Kakashi Hagi was still a little awkward in his heart and wanted to find his place. Who oh la la la, kid, if you are not convinced, we can compete. Zephyr laughed loudly in response to Hamakaka's provocation. Well, when you have a competition, eat first. Tang Jinyan took a knife and fork and cut a piece of beef. With a faint sentence, both Zepha and Kimukaka died. How's the plan to make trouble? Tang Jinyan looked at Deadshot. In East Africa, inciting mercenaries to besiege Wakanda is his handwriting. In addition, Deadshot is also responsible for arranging an evacuation route that is not easily detectable but leads to Hydra base under close inspection. Deathshot in the DC universe is an experienced lone mercenary, with his own style of doing things. Hearing the boss's question, the dead shot replied, the clues are all set up. From the United Nations aid convoy to the evacuated small airport, these debris clues will lead them to the Hydra Fenland base. Boss, according to what you said, these clues are arranged extremely secretly, and those Wakanda people may not be able to find them. Don't underestimate any enemy. Tang Jinyan glanced at the deadly shot. Wakanda's military, the espionage ability is not weak. If it wasn't for Huo Yao rescue this time, you don't know if you can come back. Has the real evacuation route been cleaned up? Tang Jinyan reprimanded, then asked casually. Very clean. There is pepper juice on Ji Yu Zian's lips. All the insiders died cleanly because of the Wakanda Diamond Mine riot. I left after seeing everyone dead clean, uncle. When Tang Jinyan heard this, uncle, the corners of his mouth twitched. Good job. Salary increase by 50% per person. Although capitalist Tang announced a salary increase, the atmosphere did not become enthusiastic. Which of the people sitting here was really working for salary? Boss Tang looked at Zepha and then at Hagi Kakashi, and decided to arrange a show to increase the activity of the employees. Guan Gong fights Chin Chong. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.